procrastinators, and welcome to Nerd Gibbs FW. Today, we're going to have a look at a bit of an odd one. Bit of an odd one. This this is Out of Wilds. It is a space exploration game with a little twist. And it's a... <sighs> oh, that was weird. I was having a dream about four years ago. Anyway, that just fucking exploded. Oh, what's that down there? Oh, and there goes another thing. Hmm, space is kind of busy. Hello there! Oh, 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 hang on a second. I got me a marshmallow to roast. Moostick extensting. <laughs> Ow! How do you do it? I've never, I've never roasted a marshmallow. Oh. <laughs> you, do, you don't do it like that. I'll put it, I'll put it over there. Uh, replace. Okay, so how do you toast a marshmallow? Gotta get it just over the fire, just right. Is that toasted yet? No. Is that toasted yet? Oh, it's getting there. Oh, is it? I can't tell. I've never done this before. It's definitely steaming. Does that make marshmallows taste better? Okay, that looks like it's gone charcoal-y. Yes, it was mediocre. Eh. What's this one taste like? <laughs> Anyway, I'm done roasting marshmallows. Um, that's Space. Hello, Space. How you doing? There's a lot of you today. Should talk to this fella. How you doing? Oh, that's more eyes than I was expecting. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Yes. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. Please don't be a Kerbal Space Program. And suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo village. What do you say? Ready to get this beat off the ground? What? The marshmallow. So if you definitely ready to go. All systems go! Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight grade. Entry. Yeah, okay, good, fine. Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Hornfields at the observatory. Okay, I think I vaguely remember doing that. It's been four years in this game, as you can tell, has changed a lot, so I'm just gonna see what it's about. Just bring those here when you say goodbyes. Right. Okay. There's other things I can say. How's the ship looking? Anyway, you guys have a repurposed the spare action tanks be used into an uh, extra combustion chamber. What does that do? So we guess actually basically it's like taking a regular second stage booster and strapping a bigger rocket onto it. Isn't that great? I still don't know what that does. Uh, how safe would you say this thing is? Oh, it's a perfect turn unless you're factoring in pilot area, in which case it's about a four. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, what's my mission when I'm off in space? Hey, you're the pilot, you tell me. Aren't you part types all legal to gather and explore for yourselves? Doesn't matter if you get... <laughs> Imagine if NASA was like that. It's like, what's your mission? Ah, we're gonna fuck up into space and then just see what happens. Don't if you go to the moon or Brittle Hollow or just the other side of Timber Hearth. It's all the same to me. Get out there and have fun. Okay, just don't hurt the ship. That's all I ask. Uh, what else should I do before lift off? Friend Hal is in the observatory waiting to see you off. Oh, and Gossan says the zero-g chamber is set for you on refresher. That's all you have to, but it'll help. Get Gossan on back if you did. Okay! Ooh. And there's the sun. Ah. Right, what's that? There's the tent. Ah, is that our takeoff place? Requires launch codes, okay. So we need to get our launch codes. This is why I decided to camp out. It was nice, it looks like- Ooh, fuck, what was that? Ooh, shit, something's flown in front of the sun. Oh, something's big's about to fly in front of the sun. Oh, I thought I'd be able to see it better then. Yeah, well, this one. <laughs> oh god, how bad would an eclipse be if you had to have four ha uh, four eyes on it? Anyway, that's a what the fuck is that? Is it a fork? It's like a fork. It's like a spork knuckle duster that he's locked to a stall. I don't understand. All right, let's get going. As I walk around this place, hold A. Ah. Ah. I got it. I'm already skillful. It's a lantern. Love me a lantern. What's this? What was that that just shot past? There's a lot of space out in space. Hello! Talk to Micah. Hello, Micah. Hey, it's you! So you you're passing on for your ship today. I'm really excited for the launch. Are you going to go into space, aren't you? You better not change your mind. Hey, I'm still going. I remember since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. How bad? You want to come with me? Hey, you want to try out my model ship? So this is just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. 
Yes, I do. I'm going to talk to you more first. Dark Souls has made me do this. I'm going to practice with the pro before I leave, and you beefed up the ship when I see it? Yeah. It's the real thing, I mean, it's like, okay. Try and land on one of our geese at the pool, show me what you've got. Oh, it's not that. Oh, is that the controls for it? Where is it? Is that, is that it? Okay, so that's it. Okay, so. Horizontal thrust. Up. Down. Oh, shit. Okay. Where even is it? Oh, I've hit that. Oh! <laughs> Don't know what's happening. Yes! It made me upside down! But that is perfect flight. There we go. Oh, okay. Well, I'm ready to fly a real ship. <laughs> Let me play. Oh, no. Um, night again. Oh, there's our moon. There's whatever that planet is. Woo! Fuck, that literally made me jump. Good. What's, what are you cooking? Is that blood or wine? Yo, hatchling. Hey, you're leaving us. Seek adventure book stars when you return. Uh, you, me, Gus, and open up a bottle of the good stuff. Oh, is that what you're cooking? I seek adventures amongst one star, actually. Other stars too far away. Ah. Because I was less delicious at wine, more daunting digestive challenge. Yeah, one star. I don't know if I've ruined the name of scientific accuracy. No, still where you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Thank you. Did you just taste that with your ear? Ooh, ear taste buds. That's a fat fucking barrel, look at that. So there's Outwise Ventures. Oh, hello. You see you are too busy looking at your thing. Extra blast on that thing. They really don't explode as often anymore. I'm told my other survival is statistically quite high. Troy, thank you for causing a uh, few flash fires and your predecessors. Woo! By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. They're very retro. Use satellite camera out to wilds, badges, against postcards, remove it. What's that do? The projector is linked to our sky shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. Oh, so that's one of the things we've seen flying. Oh, I, I think I remember that. So you can take forward pictures, because there's a. I mash it. Yeah, look, it's going round. You can take pictures as you go, and then there's going backwards. So there's the sun. Oh. <laughs> the easy thing to spot at night. What's that big bastard there? It's a white dot. Oh, there it goes, there it goes! Oh, shit! <laughs> Yay! There's us! Completely <gasps> fucking missed it. Read. This part is the U-Boat's binding asteroid Feldspar. It's all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. But it's been argued such a distinction requires breathtaking liberal definition of flight. <laughs> <laughs> that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in half the in history. I want to sit in it, but also I don't. What's that? Oh, is there a thing to read? No, it's just paper. Big old satellite dish. Big old jetpack. Model ship that I crashed and exploded. Is this an exhibit, or is this just some sort of torture? And there's things, and there's radio, and good! Good. One exhibit. I think that's actually the chair you're sitting in as well. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, no, yours is actually different. Ah, it's got a different colour. Okay, we're good. Well, there was just two, and he's Nick one. Hey, what you looking at? The trees behind you, mate. So I was going to say, huh, how's going to miss you? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. The platform the ship's launch room is getting old. That time, built a new, less flammable one. Big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping the space program. Just say the words. Uh, the launch pad is flammable. <laughs> No, you didn't realise that? I like one of the options was we know you got it out for that tree. Set up for the launches so far, it'd definitely be fine with yours, probably. Uh, you want to launch right there? I mean, that would be fucking cool. Getting a lot of war in my face here. <laughs> I like this linear village I can wonder. Oh, are you playing that? You're very good. How are those space get out? Oh no, you're playing Tang Tang. Yeah, I'm in the crater. If you meet any other travellers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travellers' instruments. Made all their instruments. You know, let me see. There's shirts, drums, Rebex banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Ooh, hello. Um, although Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like yesterday we were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space programs of the travellers. If you like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Don't know what a signal scope is, or if I even have one. 
Uh, but I'm guessing, considering there's smoke coming from there, one of them could be there. <laughs> there's a fire. Is there an oxygen on the moon? What? Interesting. So, where is this way? We're going the right way. Oh, that's what we were supposed to have landed on. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, there's a way back there. It actually feels like there's a lot to explore here. I kind of want to get on. I've got a space to launch into. Hello! Nothing. Hello! Hello, astronauts! Ever my favourite troublemaker. I want to play hide and seek, but Marianne won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate. I'm not supposed to be thrown around like that. Can I use your signal scope? Oh, sure. They'll hide. And I'll seek! Okay, good. I'll close my eyes. Oh, that was nice. I got four eyes so I had the four. Yeah. Oh, I do have a signal scope. There's music there. I guess I'm, oh, I'm behind the waterfall. Nice. So I guess I'm just tracking down. Oh, I can even see you there. Oh my god. You got this hide and seek. Like hide and. You're a piece of shit. Boop. Hello. Oh, you found me. Wow, it was super good. It was. But you're a bit shit. I don't to find the other one. Is that a jump I have to make there? First try. There it is. Over here, up here. Good oh. <gasps> thing I was making that. Oh, there you are. Hey, I won. I'm happy. Nice. Thanks for playing with us. You're very welcome. So the signal scope, frequency, hide and seek, change frequency. Outer Wilds Ventures. Oh. There's an old Disney cartoon over there. And that one gets bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, smaller, bigger. Is that a harmonica or is that a um, Weird Al has? The name is completely gone. Spandogla. Not Spandogla, what the fuck? So there's two signals to find. Oh, there's red signals as well. well how do I get to that? Oh, they're clearly on all the planets, aren't they? Okay, so there's that bing, bing, bing. Oh, oh that one sounds creepy. Okay, it's, it's like a hum coming from that planet. Might be a bottle. Ooh. So there's a harmonic. Oh, that's two. That's the harmonic. Where's the... It's drums. Some sort of drums. Hey, I found them all. Trouble is, every time I'm having these throughout space, there's one this musician in an orchestra. Ah, I am... Um... Feldspar's got the harmonica. Okay, so Feldspar's the one that vanished. So, I don't know why some are white and some aren't. Is it French? He's not that far away. That is a harmonica. Sounds harmonica -y. What's the fucking word for the thing I was thinking about? Oh, I'm getting old. Holy shit. Look at that! I'm fucking space there. Oh, I can zoom in. There's a zoom in button. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Not nice. Oh. I'm guessing he's somewhere in that one. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Hmm. Oh my god, the planets are aligning. Oh god. Planet alignment, here we go. 15 songs at once. So I'm guessing there's someone on the moon. <laughs> oh, didn't talk to you. Hello. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. Me and the credit, I guess we'll be a little busier without you to lend a hand. We will planet, giant deep. That's where I go. What is that? One time after the rest of the village had left the seat, it's just the two of us sitting around campfire. Gabra told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. I should be busy enough ways, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. Too dark. Gabra wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so I decided to travel deeper. They travelled down and down. Suddenly Gabra couldn't go any further. Giant's Deep has a current you can't pass through. And I missed that point and goodbye. Tell me more. I will, I was just passing dramatically. As though exercising all of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. Held Gabbro back. Almost as if they were trying to protect them from something. 
And then in the temporal darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacles and hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabbro says anyway. Whoever was it freaked Gabbro out pretty good. Oh god, I hate things underwater. I hate fucking fishy creatures. Everyone wants to hear new stories of each campfire, you know? Make sure you bring back some with you. Can do. What's that one all about? Oh yeah. I remember you from the from the demo. I know what's in you. Anyway. Going upstairs. There's the big tree that he fucking hates. There's a man there, I think. Just go chat room. Observatory's that way. Zero G cave is that way. Use camera. Read. Ooh. What the fuck are you playing at? Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Gosling said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling because ghost matter evaporates. Just takes a super long time to go away. Oh. I saw Ghost Mario in the Virgin I'm a grown up. Ghost Mario is awesome. Ghost Mario is super cool, but it'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard it. The touching your head so bad it feels like whole hands on fire. Ooh. Okay. Don't fuck with dark matter. So it's those crystals, is it? Engine, side of the fence, pocket of ghost matter. Strange and possibly cold substance, invisible with the naked eyes. Good news is you can detect it with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful, will probably kill you. Don't complain if you hurt yourself falling around. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. It's like an aurora. Cool. Oh, there goes our satellite. Whee! And there goes the rest of the system. Uh, okay, so what's down there? Death. Alright. Death. One death, please. Don't go through there. Yep. Hang up here. Stop throwing the kids. Seriously, you should probably stop throwing something in there. It's uniquely painful. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hello, astronaut. Good weather for you. Let's try That's lucky. What you up to? Use my oscilloscope so we got sounds from distant planets. It's set to Outer Wilds Avengers 3. So we've got the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Robeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. Oh, that means they're safe. Can be different planets too. Just depends on what time of day at night is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Sigma scopes are cool. Oh, so there'll be different things happening. There's nothing on that one. Quite a bit on that one. Oh no, that's all just that one. Hmm. And then nope. Yep. Right, I'm gonna fucking head to the observatory. Don't like caves. Oh, fine. Can't say hi to your flight coach. Hello. Probably seen him before the big lunch. Let's get the better of you. I'm a little nervous here. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight, nearly put a new crater in the moon. Been there. I see, I was never green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. I think so. Do you feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. It's up in the zero-g cave and needed repairs. Alright, go fix it. One repaired satellite coming up. Let's go do this thing. <laughs> Fucking hell, what is this? The Stargate or some shit? Ah, flashlight. I was just clicking in sticks. It's like, yep, flashlight. Oh, oh, I did not see that there. Ooh. That's spoken out like that. That's going to tell me what the flashlight was anyway. What is it telling me about? Put my suit on. Okay, so. Down thrust. Up thrust. Oh, there's my legs. Hello, legs. Just up and down. Hey. Double line so it doesn't scare the shit out of you. Nailed it. Hey, nice of you to drop down and get some CRG time. Give me the dirt. And get some CRG time. You going in there in the cave? Uh, well, I'm fine, great and fine. You don't look fine. You know, I hate the cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. Fine, I've got kind of sweats. Ugh. Well, don't throw your axe or anything. CRG cave, CRG cave. I guess I'm going down to a CRG cave. I don't know why this cave's got zero G, but 
Go. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. Oh, there we go. I guess we're in the uh, Zilgy Cave now. Press the lock on. Hold A. Match velocity. That's useless. I'm miles away from it. Nice. How do I repair it, though? Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's some fucking welding skill I got. Oh, duct tape. <laughs> Fair enough. Just bash it all back together and duct tape it. So, oh, this is actually quite terrifying, isn't it? Oh god, that's the flashlight on. Hmm. Now with the rocks, this is good space practice. Oh, that bit's sparking. There we go. Look at that. Look at that velocity being matched. Like a professional. So where's the next sparky bit? Inside, perhaps? No. Oh, ah. God, this is going to be a horrible game. I'm going to not enjoy it. <laughs> it's all space horror. Space scary things. I did it. I fixed the satellite up. Ow. And I hit a rock. Wait, so what the fuck is through here? Oh, oh wait, no, that's where I came in. Ah, oh, done it. I think. It's that there. I don't know. Someone's building weapons down here while drinking. I should probably tell someone about that. Yep. Wait, is this where I came in? Yeah. Put my suit back. I'm just being able to fly, but I'm a gentleman. Ooh. Wow, it's low gravity in here. Inside the planet. We're here closer to the middle. So that would work, but I just smashed it. First trip into space, I think it went really well. I'm ready to do that for real. With real space and real complete lack of oxygen and real... All the bad shit comes with space. No time again. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful if you're hurting through space. Just move your training and try and hit anything big. You can see you're itching to get the rock. Go get launch codes. Press out there and try to avoid getting yourself killed. Now put so much time to training you. You put... You just told me to do a thing. Don't talk to me again. Don't talk to me on my child ever again. And I'm my own child. So observatory is this way. Flashlight, because it's night time. It's a big moon. I like the, the house design. I kind of want to sleep in there. It's kind of nice, doesn't it? Looks cozy. Don't fall. Oh, is that the ship? That looks like a bigger version of what we've already crashed viciously. Ooh, there we go. Orenfels, Gossan, Feldspar, Esker, and Slate. And Slate, the one who was sitting down on the thing. Oh, well, it's founding members. Close it up. Hornfelds, Gossan, Slate, and Feldspar. Who's Esker? Who's Esker? Why did they sign it? Oh. I'm guessing these are people. Yeah, these are people who backed the game. Was this on Kickstarter? God damn it, I read them twice. Enjoy your names. I'm Rekka. I know that fucking out of Hours Ventures! Some of his first and only space program was found to explore the first reaches of the solar system. It's a really small solar system, it's kind of dinky. That's why I was the first Southian to be intentionally lost in space. <laughs> he completed the first orbit around Tibet and later made the first orbit be many landings on the moon. The Adol Rock. Atoll Rock. Adol Rock. Ooh, that's fucking terrifying, isn't it? Hello, I'm an alien goat thing. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the. Ne oh, no my, no my, no my, no my, no my. Not, I only said Naomi. The Naomi, an ancient species who dwelt in our solar system thousands of years ago. That's why it's most detailed look at the Naomi, who appear to be covered with a layer of fur. And the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Though there are artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we have no idea where the species came from, what happened to them. But I said we was going to space to find out. It's out, it's my friend! Launch day at last. It's the translator tool so Nogra Flight 2, so I'm excited. Ah, oh, translator tool, that's new, so. So you'll be able to translate any Naomi text. Well, great, it's Naomi. Anywhere you are. Two of us put a lot of hours into uh, inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Oh, jeez, don't break it. Alright. Uh, I don't I'm just nervous, not even going to space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified! <laughs> don't worry, you know, you've been training for this day since we've been hatching, so remember, you'll do good, I promise. So stay here to see the new Naomi statue. Uh, just did the launch codes. 
You're dying your hat in space. Seriously, you've got to see the statue before we go. It's an amazing find. Make sure you can check out real life Naomi looks like. But I guess it's closer we ever get. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. You mean hair, right? That's been intact statue I found. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Jeez, you got a lot carried away there. I just have a ship to launch. And I will take care of myself out there. See you later. I remember there being a little exhibit in the first version. Piece of Naomi writing. Which on the squiggle. Essential deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, Nomi text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. What's this? What the fuck just happened there? Oh, translate! Kasava, we're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. She says calibrating the device won't take long. Oh, oh, there we go. So it's branched off again. So that's their writing. Oh, that's really cool looking. God, that'll take fucking rages, wouldn't it? Fortunately, the Outer Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. Outer Rock's our moon! After this time, I'm, I'm finally ready to resume our search. Cool. Can I scan that? No? Anything on the back? No. Okay. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, Naomi also made art. This deco pottery discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Naomi art depicts strange animals. Foreign celestial budget. Yeah. With things that oh can't be found in the solar system. We just wonder whether the you Nomi know, originates somewhere else in the universe or something. We had vibrant imaginations. Whether not, I'm going to call them Nomi. Uh, born in the solar system, were they born amongst the stars and planets? If they were, how long did they come here? Just some of the questions you have to answer. Xeno archaeological. That's cool. Looks like a crib, doesn't it? Oh, that's a dead one. You see, there's parts of that. They did focus on other things, really. There's other things in space. We can tell their skulls, they possess antlers, and quite unusually, only three eyes. Uh, the Naomi body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Naomi's atm atmosphere shows the shockingly fragile bone structure showed us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Naomian ancestors. It's not clear whether the Naomi originated from where they disappeared. We have to find more clues and puzzles as we explore our solar system. Cool. What's this? The Nomi technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outwild's ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. The little scout now boosts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. The scout, is that full size or is that tiny? I don't know. Uh, we looked at that. Like a good museum. I don't know what was happening then. It's night time. This crystal was taken from a Nomi ruin on Brutal Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion, most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Not like low gravity. Oh, oh, sideways gravity. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the floor smells weird. Nice. There's a picture of something. There's a picture of. Oh, Squiggy Boy. What's the Squiggy Boy for? Don't know. Oh fuck. <laughs> This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of our dark ships for the close to dark ramble. Our dark ships? One of our ships for close to dark ramble. Here's what's such living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. I remember the early version of this game. Here's a... Uh... Oh, we should probably read from this way to the other way. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. Da -da -da. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outliers to expand. The stars become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Oh, shit. The star is massive enough, so it will continue to form carbon into heavier elements like iron. Unfortunately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode into a violent event called a supernova. Based on shared civilizations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. And ours, too. Du -du 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 -du. <gasps> oh, magic balls. Where are they going? Watch closely, these balls move on their own, so do mine. The ground is perfect levels, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon! As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects in different directions. In fact, it's pulling you right now! Holy shit, I'm actually going slightly to the left. It's ever so slight. Is that legitimate? Did you fuckers bother to program that? Wasn't there a thing there a second ago? There's a thing there! Oh, that's quite creepy, isn't it? Looks like a face. Hmm. What's this? A strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level heading among us realized must be some sort of optical illusion at play. 
that Gabbro claims Iraq exists in all possible states well observed, whatever that means. What was actually happening? Both sides of the debate argue the effect is extremely creepy. Oh! Oh, it's a weeping angel. Oh, oh it's a weeping angel. Oh, okay. It's a weeping angel. <laughs> Let's not look at that anymore. Hey, where's the balls? Balls are moving. Okay, when the balls are on the right-hand side, if I jump... Slide to the right. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, that's all that. Some people. Some people. Telemoscope. View map. Ooh, fuck, I was not ready for that. The Outer Rock. You are here, Tip of Hearth. The Hourglass Twins. Brittle Hollow. Giant's Deep. Dark Bramble. Little. Oh, that little white dot's out to the side. Can zoom view. What is one hell of a fucking map this? Oh, is that a black hole? It's got bits sticking out of it. I think it might be a black hole. You are here. It's like a moon. My god, Ash Twin, Ember Twin. Hey, what's that? Oh, there's like some fucking sun thing. Alright, well that's... Oh, hello, I didn't even see you there, sorry. One fields. There you are, I just finished pre flight observations and log conditions are good. Time to get a new stash not off the ground. And you'll be your first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomi Translator tool. Cool. You'll be equipped to unravel the mysteries of the Naomi, and you and Hal should be very proud of your work. You should probably call them the Naomi. I don't worry. We're going to plan too. I'm going to learn more about them. Me out with our travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm going to wing it! <laughs> Find the father footsteps. You have fell spot in the great Outer Wilds Venture tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well. <laughs> I have this tradition, just do whatever the fuck. Uh, okay, ready to get off this rock. Ready to die in space. No more superstition, but isn't that kind of a lucky thing to say for a launch? Anyway, here are the launch codes! Eee! Our ship's every bit as safe as Slake could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Yes! We've got launch codes, people! How do I get out of here? Oh, that was the, the wall thingy. Just making sure that I see everything. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck me, that made me jump. <laughs> was that everything I'd just done? That was cool. Well, your eyes have stayed open. A lot of bells, aren't they? Well, bye! Oh, I thought that was going to be looking at me when I look back at it. Okay, that's creepy. Where's that guy gone? If I see him, I'm going to let him know everything's creepy. Launch tower's that way. Probably should go that way. Oh, here he is. How are you? How? Hey, hey, did you get a good look at that statue? The statue uh, looked at me and opened its eyes. The statue is glowing! Why was it glowing? She was doing what? So its eyes open and you saw him just from urine memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? It's no offense, but you can't launch, like, medically speaking. No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? I've tried everything to get a statue's eyes to open. Nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. So I'm going to try and they're on, though. Maybe they'll be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabbro's, you know, Gabbro. So maybe you're off searching for info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really just going into space. Hey, if you can use your translator to find out about, about the statue. Good luck and safe flying. Okay, thank you, Hal. Ooh. Ooh. This is a bit... I don't like it. So this is the way to the laser launch pad up there. Just kind of spying on people's houses. So where does this lead? That's a... Uh, that's down there. What the fuck? Who are you? Who are you? Tempra. Hello, astronaut. You're going into space today. You're going to space and never came back like Felbus did. Um, that's pretty disturbing. Felbus says no one knows what happened to Feldspar. Felbus says it wasn't space, even though it was the best part ever. You're not as good as Feldspar. All right, Jesus, you fucking piece of shit. Boom! Run! I've dead legged a kid. <laughs> uh, well, that's nice. Gonna have one more roasted marshmallow. Gonna now this one. This is gonna go as good as all my exploration. 
There's a bit of a wobble to it. It's hard to control. Ooh. Well, <laughs> see you later. Oh yeah, let's say see you later. It's late. I accept my launch is fine and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're going to fix the new appliance and warning system for this one. Uh, sorry, wait, what? What? Okay, autopilot doesn't avoid shit. That's a thing to learn. Yes, launch codes entered. All right. Space, 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 space. Before we go in, anything to find, pick up. It's no like things, is it? It's kind of a weird little thing. Ooh. Oh, cool! Oh, it was when it in the demo. The ship was actually a little ship. Suit up. That's a good one to do. Little scout, see but on the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. That's a good idea. Health and fuel. Uh, jump, what's that? Jumbo marshmallows. Do we just eat only marshmallows? What's this? That's the map. The interloper. Dark bramble. Giant steep. A big Dorito. Hollow's lantern. Brittle hollow. Tinder hearth. Thingy and the hourglass twins, and then a big fucking sun. You ship log. Can do. Rumor mode. Ooh. Map mode. Ooh. New entries. Village, the one only thingy. Mark location on HUD. Wait, it's the cave. Has it? Yeah, okay, so this is just kind of a log of everything we've done, and we've not been anywhere. So what's rumour mode then? Oh, this is how things are going to... This is how we're going to solve the game, I'm guessing. So we know that Gabbro is on the planet. Giant Steep. And what's that? Lunar Ruins. Let me text him service. He talks about collaborating some sort of device on the Outer Rock. So we can go to the moon, or we can go to a different place. I think we should go to the moon first. What's that? Oh, it's one of those crystals. Oh, that's how we've got gravity, I guess. I guess we're powered by that crystal. I love that how the ship is put together. It's so pretty. Okay, a little plant, oxygen refill, spa tree, walk towards it, enjoy. Oh, okay, I thought I refilled oxygen from here. Health and fuel, oh, I guess not. So we've got to find trees. Buckle up, signal scope, oh god, master alarm, uh, stuff I'm definitely going to use. Okay, uh, lift off landing camera. Yep, hold to lift off. Oh, hold. Woo, here we go. Hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. Okay, we can fly. Oh, what's that? Oh, should we explore our own little place first? Oh, shit. Oh, that's it. I can't. Quite shit. If NASA just fired a thing and it just went, fucking flew off and landed in, like, Mexico and was like, ah, we'll just check this first. We saw something interesting. Uh, uh. How do I even... Wait, what have I got? Oh! I've got the signal scope in here. You don't... You aren't playing noise, are you? Oh, shit. Uh, um, unbuckle. Fantastic. Oh, there's a bit of a drop. Oh, that's fucking horrific. I do not like that. Oh, I've got my suit on as well. Wait, does that mean I've got a jetpack? Oh, I do. Hold A if I jetpack boost it. Oh, cool. It's pushing A anyway. Nice. Hello. Oh my god, it's your mum's virgin. Anyway. Hello, I just Ling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours in space today. I just... Shh. Me and I saw something crash on the horizon. Didn't like... I've seen the pictures of my little scout standing back, so I thought I'd come in here and myself and take a look. So what crashed? Oh, it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant to you, but it's not a thing I've seen on Timber Hearth before. And trust me, it was quite... Ex I was quite explorer back in the day. He's extraterrestrial. Can't look like something might have fallen off the... Or come off the dark bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. Don't want to look at this thing. I just think oh, that's a fact. I think I'll send Marlon Howl loose on it. Just get rid of the mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plant faster than Tree Keeper can. It's true. We can make this the landing site. Have a look at what's inside the sea first, though. What? I'll, get... I'll have to have a look what's inside the seed first, though. Oh, shit, it's not going to come out of this. Don't want to sort of in a way to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking in there. All the old scout... I've got... Do I have a scout launcher? I've got on my ship! Obviously the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. Anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands inside. It looks... Some pleasant that seed does. It's a good way to lose an arm or two. Yeah, I've got that on my ship. Hang on. I'll do a careful bit of flying for you. Okay. 
That's not the right way to go. Refuel jetpack. <laughs> okay. Yeah, scout launcher. There it is. Oh shit. Okay. Launch scout. Uh. <laughs> okay. I need to go get that back, I think. Because I only launched it three feet. How do I... Oh, wait, no! Equip scout launcher! Oh, I've got it here! Oh, and it can walk back! That's what the museum said. Oh, I can launch it from here! Oh, look at that. It's me! by me! That's a big fucking crater. Jesus. And I got it back. Okay, so I'm going to send this through here. God, I don't want like, anything to come out. Oh, error duplicate signal. Oh, take pictures. Oh, shit. That's behind and that's in front. Okay, so that's a horrible nightmare thing. What's it mean, error duplicate signal? Ah, ooh. Oh. Huh, that looks like there's a campfire there. I thought that was one of the big boys. Oh, I think it crashed. <laughs> if I can rotate the camera. Oh, look, there's another one there. So that must teleport you somewhere. Yeah, look, there's someone. Hmm. I've got a light. Ooh, it's quite unpleasant, isn't it? What's if you go the other way? Dun, 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 Do you see this, mate? I don't know where it's being displayed, but look at this fucking thing. Dun, 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 dun. Out of the brambles. Oh, no, it just goes in the same place. Ooh, that's weird. Mind that tooth? It did not mind that tooth. And now it's just falling away. There, a duplicate signal. Oh, it's actually on the planet! So it's 17 kilometers away. And also in there. So that's like a warp gate. Oh, so whatever's in there can come out and attack our planet. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm going to try and take off without killing you. Oh, I don't want that to put that away. What else have I got? Oh, there goes the little satellite. Why do they live in a crater? Is it because there's no fucking anything on this planet? This small little planet has a massive history and like eight people living on it. Oh, there goes the moon. Oh, trees, tree. Oh, ow! Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. Oh, okay. I can probably set it down over there. Oh, no, I can't. Wait. Yeah. It's that ghost shit. Okay. Uh. Hmm, maybe I'll get a thing to deal with that later. Hey, what's that? Oh, ow. No, seriously, what is that? That looks really fucking close. Oh, the interloper! Okay, fuck it, I'm heading towards the interloper. Um, that way. Yeah, there we go. Can match it myself. I'm in space for the first time. Woo! So there's the sun. You're heading towards the sun. Seems safe to land on you now, doesn't it? Oh shit! 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 Oh shit. Uh, what the fuck is it opening? the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit. What's happening? I can't get out. What the fuck? What's happening? <gasps> Wait, am I flying into the sun? Oh no! <laughs> oh no, it's there. It's there. It's not flying into the sun. It's now flying away. Did it miss the sun? 
Okay, it was flying towards the sun. That's fine. It nearly ripped me off. That's cool. Well, it, I think it, it must have melted it, because it's a, it's a comet then, isn't it? That's a, the interloper's a bit of a dangerous name for a comet. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Well, here's pictures of fuck all. <laughs> Great. Okay. Whoa, that's a bright star. Wait, it didn't open. Oh, is it refrozen? Well, that's just irritating. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, 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 woo, 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 wait. Oh my fucking god, the cells are exploding. <gasps> You're really bright. Oh my fucking god, all the stars are exploding. Oh my god, all the stars in the night sky are exploding. Our stars change colour. <laughs> oh my fucking god, all the stars are exploding. Oh my fucking god, all the stars are exploding. <laughs> okay, now, I'm very aware that the point of this game... Ooh, there's a big snowflake there. Oh, that's very pretty. You know, I'm, I'm aware of what this kind of game is, and I know that the sun explodes after a certain amount of time. Spoiler warning, but it's gone... it's going supernova. And I think it's a mystery of a game about working out why that's a thing, but again, I don't know, I only played the demo of this four years ago. But I had no idea that, oh my fucking god, all the stars seem to be exploding. Are you, are you getting bigger? I think you're getting bigger. Can't tell. You look really bright though. You look stomach. There goes one. I want to catch one in the act, as it were. You're going yellowy. Oh, there's, that's getting brighter. Is that the one I was looking at before? Oh, I don't know. You? You, you just went. I don't know if there's like a sign if they're gonna go or not. Oh, you just went. I saw you go. Oh my god, that's genuinely terrifying. Oh, there goes that one I've been looking at. Oh, you look like you're gonna fucking pop, mate. Wow, that's fucking terrifying. That's seriously fucking horrific. What the fuck is that? Oh, is that that black hole dot that we saw? So we're like miles of fucking... Yeah, well, miles, you know what I mean. I don't know what that is either. So that's a... Uh, black hole? Do we orbit around a black hole in the sun? Is that something on it? Oh no, that's like an egg. It's just big hunks of rock. Bloop. Sun's getting all wibbly. Ugh. Oh, oh, it's like a fucking kaleidoscope. Look at that. Please don't do LSD before watching the rest of this series. I don't really think there's anything in there apart from my own panels. Uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Let's go explore it. <laughs> First thing in space, what are you do? Ah, it's sort of black hole. Wow. It's so hard to see what's around it. It's just so disorientating. Can't see if there's anything like specific. Like I can lock onto the individual bits. Oh shit! The bit I just logged onto is legitimately a space station. I think that looks. That doesn't look like the rock. 
Oh, well, you can look. Oh, maybe that's the only bit you could look onto. Uh, oh, is there something else over there as well? Oh, there's a bit there. What's all this? It's a little disc. And, um... Some bits and pieces. Okay, gotta be careful, because there's a black hole nearby. There's a... Ooh, there's an actual... That's like a building! How do I... No, that's not what I want to do at all. How do I rotate? Surface integrity, 0%. I can just like ram through it. I don't want that. Um, so no way of... That's not right. Hmm. Just trying to rotate on the a different axes. Anyway, let's go fucking hit this thing up. It sounds looking mighty fucking red. Like, seriously fucking red. Oh yeah, that's not... That's not supposed to be here. Or well, that is supposed to be here. Hmm. Probably gonna need this camera for this one. Okay, and then... Is it A to match? Okay. Oh, fuck. I thought I'd, I was already off the thing. There we go. We all refilled. Down out. One small step, etc. Okay, that's weird. What's that? Oh, it's following me. Oh, that's freaking me out. Trees detected. Oxygen tank revealed. Oh, they were right about that. We, we, I think we refilled oxygen from the ship. So much to learn, so much to go. Ooh. What's all this? Hey, there's some writing. Oh, ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Welcome to the White Hole State. It's a White Hole! What is it? If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This tower can help you return to Brittle Hollow. There's a black hole near Brittle Hollow? Okay. The warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body, so use the tower, stand on the warp platform on the floor, and wait until the tower aligns with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. What? Oh, it's a way to get back. Pick up Ember Twin Protection Stone. What do I do with this? Uh, down. Ooh. Oh, shit. So let's look up. Stop it. Oh. Down there. Yes. Oh, so we're like pointing a thing. Looking up doesn't do anything. So we don't want to point at the white hole. <laughs> Stars exploding is genuinely horrific. Oh my goodness, that's got red, isn't it? Oh, it didn't stop it, it didn't stop it, it didn't stop it. It didn't stop it! Oh no. Oh no, it's the music. Oh no, there was music in the last one. Shit. Oh shit, oh shit. Let me get up, let me get up. I've gotta get back to my ship, I've gotta get back to the fucking ship. Careful, 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 careful. Open, 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 come on, quick! Hey ship! Refill. Oh, I don't know why though. a little bit close to it and then stop <gasps> oh my god the last few stars are going out <sighs> 
Anyway, yeah. Um, the universe is about to end, so... I figured I'd watch it from outside. <laughs>